We have a new little group of volunteers planning family-friendly tours for the Heritage Open Days on the 11th and 12th of September. In-depth research has taken place about how Bishop Hurd entertained the King for breakfast. James, we need to talk about numbers, how many people we can get on the tour. Any ideas? Well, if you say 12 people and does fam and you've got four families and they add up over 12, then one family would have to leave people behind. But if you say four families, then mm. it, they wouldn't have to leave people behind. Scripts have been written and learnt by the volunteers and the visiting families become time travellers progressing through the castle. Graphic detail, mm. I think. More uh, descriptions. Just things like brutally burned. So Chief Clark says, I shall have to ask the bishop. He doesn't like traps. Thank you, bailiff. Will you stay with us? And the ble bailiff says, a pleasure. Sir, sir. Oh, this is James, the gardener's boy. James, please knock before you enter. Are these the time travellers? Oh, good. I wanted to see them. But you missed them. You missed the king and queen. You should have seen them. After breakfast, they went out into the chapel garden. Didn't you hear the crowds? They were cheering and singing, God save the queen. God save the king. <laughs> yeah. And the king was bowing and they were all waving. Somebody said there were 8,000 people. They were up on the banks looking down at the king. There were even men on horses and women holding up babies. It was the greatest thing I've ever seen. I could turn the chief clerk into the housekeeper and I'll do it. Oh, yes. Because I'm, I know it's terribly difficult getting men. I know. Who have we got? Yes, yeah, so, Glyn, who have we got? Have we got any men? If you're a man and interested in joining our band of thespians, please contact us through the website hartlebrycastletrust.org.